Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out 20 Minute Metropolis. This is a Humble Bundle original, meaning that you can only grab it should you subscribe to the Humble Bundle. For those of you that want more information about the Humble Bundle, go check out my link in the below description. So I've had the pleasure of playing this one time. Basically, you have 20 minutes to create this Metropolis and try and get the highest score possible. There's no cap. You're just basically competing against yourself every time you play to get a high score. My first run through, I got 27,969 points. I'm sure that's not good, but I, I gotta say, it's actually quite enjoyable, this game. A little rough around the edges, but I like the ideas that it conveys. So let's jump into it. Options menu, master, music, effects. You can toggle scan lines. Unfortunately, you can't stop the background from spinning. It's making me dizzy. I wish there was a way to stop that. I mean, sure, it looks nice, but for those of us that get vertigo very easily, this is rather sickening. All right, so there's a help menu. It tells you all about the overlay. Basically, you're just connecting things via roads, and you're going to be using food to produce work, and then you're going to use work to harvest resources. And then you're going to build parks in order to score victory points. Pretty simple stuff, kind of, sort of. So when you hit play, there's 11 lessons. I've only done the first three. I played the actual game to figure out the rest. So let's just jump into that. Okay, so we get to choose a starting perk. Um, I guess we'll just do one extra perk. 100 extra plastic. Okay, so on the very top of the screen, we've got our timer. Again, 20 minutes to make this metropolis. Now, I'm not going to be obviously playing for efficiency here because I'm explaining as I'm going. Your score is here, and then again, you earn score by building parks. Parks will generate points over time. Upper left-hand corner, you can toggle food, work, energy, and waste. You can see little bar graphs popping up telling you, you know, where these things are coming from, all that jazz. On the left-hand side are your resources. You have wood, plastic, metals, and stone. And then there's an efficiency graph here. Upper right-hand corner, time controls. Bottom right-hand corner is your build menu. So we'll start with the very bottom one, transport, and we'll build some, they're called trails. They're really roads. Um... One thing I don't like is that whenever you hover over anything, it brings up this huge tooltip, as you can see. So if I'm looking at the map and I'm in the build menu, it's just, it's very distracting. But like I said, this game's a little rough around the edges, but it's still rather fun. So I'm going to build a trail. Uh, as you can see here, it costs one wood and one stone. It can hold uh, 10 food, 10 work, and 10 waste. Uh, so let's just do something like this. Whenever you connect these trails slash roads to farms, the farms will automatically start producing resources onto it. And that's what these bouncing green dots are all about. These runes, you can either build a plastics dig or a metals dig on it. You can do either or. So I could do plastics on this one and metals on this one. Like so. But before I can actually do anything with them, I need work. This is where the apartments and housing come into play. There is uh, housing here. There is apartments and high-rises. High-rises require power. Power in this game is generated by water tiles. You have to put like a dam over top these water tiles and then use these energy transmitters to transmit the energy to that location. But we can just build regular apartments for right now. Um, so we'll just maybe put one here and one here. All right, so now you see a bunch of yellow dots bouncing around. Yellow dots are work. So basically, like I said, these farms will generate food. Food will go to apartments and be consumed by apartments. And then the apartments will generate work. And work is transmitted to these various digs and other structures. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put more down, I think. Let's do something like that. Now, these digs are finite, so um, once they run out, they will disappear. 
Uh, let's just keep building. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Select the road first. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and sort of saddle up next to these stone deposits here. And it's another resource that you can collect. Stone dig. One, two, three. And now I'm generating stone on the left-hand side. It's a very simple game. It, it's really simple, but at the same time, you've only got 20 minutes, so make the best of it. Uh, parks, you can spend plastic and stone. And if I just put one down, like, like I said, it generates resources for me. So if I put that there, now you see a little up arrow. And on the very top, you see the score is going up. Six, seven, eight, so on. Um, let's just uh, start building out. Okay, this one's gone. Let's go ahead and put a road here. And it looks like we might need some more metal, so I'm going to go ahead and put a metals dig down here. Let's throw... Actually, you know what? Let's do something like this. We're going to... We're going to... We're going to mine the crap out of this stone here. We're just... There we go. And again, stone also disappears over time. So you'll notice if I zoom out, it's hard to access these other areas. Like, there's a farm nestled all the way back here. But you can't get to it because of the stone. Well, you can mine out the stone and, and get access to it that way. Um, and this map is randomly generated every time you play. So it'll be a new experience for you every single time. Let's go ahead and maybe dig this out. There we go. That way we can access these. Uh, how's our... Okay, so work... Might be an issue. Yeah, there's we don't have enough workers. Note these buildings are asleep because there's not enough work. So we're gonna we're gonna put down some more apartments, I think. We've got all that food coming in, might as well. And hopefully that should solve that problem. Alright, we also need some wood. So, uh, let's create, um, yeah, let's do something like this. We'll put that there, and we need a logging site. So this will, again, spend, uh, work, generate wood for us. Again, wood is another resource in the upper left-hand corner. Um, I'd like to get more wood, so wood is very essential. So what I'd like to do, once this stone disappears, we'll put a, a road to the other side here. You cannot build on a tile to where, you know, you have nothing adjacent to it. So you always have to build. Let's just do this. All right. There we go. And we'll do that, 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 that. This one is stuck back here, so I can't get to it. Um, maybe we'll dig this out here. We may want more apartments. We'll see. Oh, um, we do need waste uh, removal. So let's put that down. It's here somewhere, I'm sure. Landfill. I need 50 wood for that. Luckily, I'm collecting it fairly quickly now. That holds 1,000 waste. There we go. We'll just throw the landfill, I suppose, right there. 13 minutes left. Didn't take very long, did it? Alright, let's see if we can connect to any more farms. I don't think we need farms, but I wouldn't mind getting more food anyway. Uh, we're also low on metals, so maybe we should start mining these out. You can construct level 2 buildings. Some of them are level 2, like metals, dig level 2, basically more efficient but requires power. Same thing with stone dig level 2. You can see the requirements there and what it does. Um, connected to this farm now via road slash uh, path, whatever. I, I don't know why they call it a trail, honestly. It's, it's a road but whatever. And I think we're going to want to connect. Uh, our, our metals are low, so I'm going to go ahead and put metals, metals, metals. And maybe some more apartments over here. That way the, the dots don't have to bounce as far. Uh, 
How are we doing over here? Admittedly, like I said, we're, we're not going to score very well here because I took some time to explain things. Uh, but we can we can try and shoot for more. 250 stone and one plastic for a medium-sized park. You can see the difference here. Slightly bigger. Generates more points. Uh, let's... Let's continue branching out. And then if there's time, I'll show you how power works. Again, everything in this game is fairly simple. In fact, if you just play the game, you can probably bypass the tutorial altogether, assuming that you're, you know, able to figure things out fairly quickly. Alright, again, I think we might need some... Let's put some apartment. Actually, we'll put the apartments here when these are done. Next to this farm. A lot of power there. We'll build over to it. You cannot click and hold to drag the trail. You have to click each segment individually. That's one complaint I have, but... Uh, uh, again, the game is rough around the edges, but still pretty fun. Okay, so we need... There we go. Water turbine. I said dam, I think, but it's really a water turbine. And then if you want to bring that power out... Another thing I don't like is that you can't see the existing power. So, like the, the radius. So maybe we'll just put that here. There it goes. It's transferring over. And I could do something like that. And something like that. So now I'm just, I'm transferring power. I don't know if I need to, really, but now I can put powered buildings all along this system if I really wanted to. Alright, so this is all gone. Let's go ahead and build up here. We'll put some, actually, you know what? We'll do some high rises so I can show you what that looks like. Um, let's, let's bring the power over here, though. Oh, and now I can put the high rises over here, right next to the farm. And wood, yeah, I think we need more wood, so we'll go ahead and put that in there. Time remaining, nine minutes. Efficiency is only 40%. 60%. Maybe another landfill. Put that there just, just to have it. Maybe another park. So that that's essentially the game. Just uh, again, it's it's nothing fancy, but it's something you can play around with every now and again. I mean, if you're in the mood to play City Skylines, but don't want to get into the hassle of getting everything all set up, well, this this will sort of scratch that itch, kind of sort of. I right, need more stone. Let's just put a bunch of these tiny parks down. Uh, let's put a stone dig level 2. Use some of our power. We'll need to bring it over there, though. Something like that. Something like that. And I think it's in range. It's hard to tell. Put that there anyway, just to be on the safe side. But yeah, look how much stone we're generating now. That's a lot. Time remaining seven minutes. All right, oh, there's a farm there. Let's let's connect that just to make sure we've got food. I don't see a demolish button, but you can click on it and hit this sell button. That'll destroy the tile that way. 
So you have to manually click on the tile you want to destroy and uh, hit the button. Uh, I don't know if we need power over here or not, honestly. Look at all that stone that we're getting. Magnificent park. Go ahead and build one of those. 1,500 stone, 100 wood. All right, we'll put that... Put that over here. Right next to the landfill. There we go. Raking in the points now. Efficiency zero. Insufficient space to create more work. I'm guessing that means the trails are completely cluttered. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So maybe I've got too much work floating around. Not enough not enough buildings consuming it. That could be that could very well be. Um Let's go ahead and do that. And oh, there's this back here. Quite low on metal again. Metals dig level 2. Again, we can put that there. We can put transmitter, 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 transmitter. And then if we put... And we don't have... Oh, yep. Just barely. There we go. So now we've got more power. There you go. Really cool game. Go ahead and connect these. Well, I guess more parks it is. There we go. Yeah, keep it coming. Will we beat a high score? Possibly. In my first playthrough, I didn't even get to these uh, magnificent parks, so I must be doing something better this time around. Oh, looks like we might need some more stone. All of this stone up here was uh, wiped out, so I'll have to generate some more. Maybe something like that. And we'll do stone dig level two. There we go. Oh yeah, I, I think we got our high score and then some. Is there someone out there with like millions of points? Probably. Alright, still didn't touch that runes yet. I don't think we need to. We've got, what, two minutes left? Just for the heck of it, I guess we can connect down here.
it seems to be a good idea to spread your houses around the map a little bit. That way, work doesn't have to travel so far to get to other destinations. At least that's that's based that's experience talking on this second playthrough. All right, one minute remaining. Get some last minute points in here. Put down as much as possible. And again, probably should have done this before. Because, you know, the more time these parks spend out on the map, the more points they generate over time. So, 30 seconds. Oh yeah, we... I think we doubled our score here. Oh yeah, no more stone is coming in. I, I'm not going to worry. Let's go ahead and times 8 this. There we go. New high score. Too bad it doesn't tell you what your previous score was. But anyway, there you go, folks. 20-minute Metropolis. If you guys want to see more, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I'm going to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.